Hello everyone. So today's example is related to the determination of liquid limit of soil and plasticity index. We are given a result of a liquid limit and a plastic limit test of a soil. Then the liquid limit test shows three trials here. We have using the Casa Grande cup, we have an end value equals 15 having a corresponding moisture content of 42. The next trial shows an end value of 20, or the number of flows, and the moisture content of, for that is 40.8. And another trial having an N equals 28, with a corresponding moisture content of 39.1. So this is the result of the test using the Casa Grande cup. Then the plastic limit is already performed or also performed and this gives a value of the plastic limit equals 18.7. So from these results we are asked to draw the flow curve and obtain the liquid limit as well as the plasticity index or PI. So all we have to do is to plot the result of the liquid limit test showing the relationship of N and the moisture content. So let us begin. For our first data point, the N value or the number of blows is 15 here. And this has a corresponding moisture content of 42. So we go up going to the moisture content of 42, so it's somewhere here. And their intersection is our first data point. The next data shows an end value of 20, so that is here. And it has a corresponding moisture content of 40. So we go down a little. So this is about 40.8. It is somewhere here. Here. And then we have the next data point which has an N of 28, so this is 27.5, so somewhere here. And it has a corresponding moisture content of 39.1. So let's say this is the 39.1. we go. So we have the three data points. Then the next thing to do is to get the regression line for these three points to get the flow curve. Okay. So this is the flow curve. And from the flow curve, we can determine the liquid limit by getting the intersection of the flow curve and the n equals 25. So this one, we go up and try to intersect this point. And whatever the moisture content for this intersection that is our liquid limit. And so that is above 39.1, which is above our last data point. So whatever the moisture content here, 
that is our liquid limit value. And so if that is drawn to scale, that is estimated to be, the liquid limit is estimated to be 39.7. Okay. So having a liquid limit of, from the curve, the liquid limit is 39.7. So from there, we can solve for the plasticity index from our formula of liquid limit minus plastic limit. We have 39.7 and the obtained value for the liquid limit is 18.7 and our plasticity index value is equivalent to 21. Thank you.